In this video, we provide the solution to question number six for practice exam number four for math 1220, in which case we're given six infinite series and we have to determine which one is divergent by the divergence test. Now, some of them could be divergent for other reasons, but we have to use the divergence test here, which the divergence test shows that a series is divergent when the associated sequence of terms doesn't converge to zero in that situation. So let's look at some of these things. Um, you look at the first one, n plus 1 over the natural log of n. Uh, that kind of seems kind of hard. I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, this is a geometric series right here where the ratio is small, two-thirds. So that actually is going to be convergent, so that's not the answer. Um, this one over here, if you look at this one, uh, the top is a 2n, the bottom is a 3n cubed. So this thing, the sequence is approximately... 2 over 3n squared. As n goes to infinity, that's going to go to 0. So that could be convergent, could be divergent, I don't know, but it's not divergent by the divergent test. Um, over here, sine of n over n. Well, sine is going to keep on going back and forth between 1 and negative 1. As n gets bigger, uh, that thing's going to go down towards 0. So that sequence converges to 0. Is the series convergent? Don't know, don't care. Um, this one right here, this is actually a convergent p-series. Throw that one out. Um, and then the last one's the harmonic series for which we know the harmonic series is divergent, but if you look at the sequence, the sequence of terms, 1 over n, does converge to a 0. And so while this is divergent, it is not divergent by the divergence test, and so we wouldn't include that one. So honestly, by process of elimination, I know that the correct answer has to be A. Now, if we actually want to see the calculation limit as opposed to this elimination method that we did here, uh, let's actually go through it. The limit as n goes to infinity of n plus 1 over the natural log of n. Uh, this currently has an indeterminate form, infinity over infinity. So we'll apply L'Hopital's rule here to see what's going on. Um, in the top, you're going to get back a 1. In the denominator, you're going to get 1 over n as n goes to infinity. So I would actually want to times the bottom by n. I got to times the top by n as well. And so this turns in the, the whole ratio into the limit as n goes to infinity, your ratio is actually going to become n now, and as n goes to infinity, this goes off towards infinity, which notice is not zero. So that itself, we actually computed the limit from the beginning. We actually could have seen that this limit, it, the, the limit of the sequence doesn't go towards zero, so it is divergent by the divergence test. But process of elimination is an appropriate tool to use on this one as well.